I still remember the day when all of us researchers were sitting in the cafeteria late one evening, watching a big screen, um, cheering for a machine called Watson as it took on former Jeopardy champion Ken Jennings. It was really a historic moment for AI. It's a very exciting time for a CFO or for somebody running a company because now you have access to all the different ways AI can help you improve your business. Flowcast is solving a really important problem. We're helping small businesses get to cheaper form of financing. A lot of the CFOs are still kind of looking at historical data, whereas using machine learning, you can be looking at data every single second and be a lot more proactive in, say, projecting uh, your revenue or your cash flows. So one of the projects uh, we have with a Fortune 500 company, we help them manage their disputes. Disputes actually account for a large part of their uh, revenue leakage. And so a machine learning algorithm helps us understand whether a dispute is valid or not by looking at a lot of historical disputes and builds this all into thousand sets of rules so that when we see a new dispute, we can very accurately assess where a dispute is likely to be valid or invalid. It increased their productivity as well as their customer satisfaction. Traditionally, lenders have very much relied on credit reports, and usually they are very backward looking. It could have been uh, six months since it's been updated. And where machine learning comes in is we can basically look at transactions. We can look at you know, thousands, millions, you know, as much as, as, as you want, and pick up little signals that are indicators of whether it be performance risk, whether it be financial risk. And where we want to be next is really to scale this up by providing an API to allow marketplaces to provide financing. So this could be a Alibaba, it could be an Amazon. Through a click of a button, they can access our API to lead them to financing from a wide range of choices uh, of lenders. With the events of big data in the past five years, this is the right time to try to use AI and machine learning to make sense of this information.